Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall free me. That is the Sith Code. And why do I bring that up? Because we are getting a new Sith, and not just any Sith, but the Sith Marauder, that's right. Another Sith from the age of the Great Sith Wars, back in the time of Revan and Darth Malgus. That's right, the Sith Marauder. The Sith Marauder is coming to the game. I cannot tell you when, because I don't even know. But, I can tell you this, the kit is simple but elegant. It's basic, strength through passion. It deals physical damage and inflicts offense down. Very simple, but it feeds the unique, which I'll get to in just a minute. In the meantime, it's special ability. Victory through power. Final text, deal physical damage to a target enemy and grant all allies potency up for two turns. Against characters, if this attack crits, it reduces the target's max health by 15% until the end of the encounter. Do not know if that uh, stacks, but holy moly, 28,000 damage. We'll get to just how we, how we got to that kind of number in a little bit. But against raid bosses, this has a unique f uh, feature where it will ignore armor, which is very, very helpful, especially in the AAT and Rancor, where both bosses have very high uh, armor. So, uh, being the only two bosses, but whatever. Okay, so the unique is where it really gets interesting. The Force Shall Free Me. Sith Marauder has plus 5% defense, plus 5% health steal, and plus 5% tenacity for each buff on all characters, allies, and enemies. Sith Marauder has plus 2% critical chance, 2% offense, and 2% potency for each debuff on all characters, allies, and enemies. When an enemy uses an ability outside of their turn, Sith Marauder gains 20% turn meter. That means that against a Commander Luke Skywalker or a team with General Kenobi who's going to throw up the Retribution buff, you're going to be feeding turn meter to your Sith Marauder. Anytime an enemy counterattacks or gets an assist, so Jedi training Rey, calling in her uh, resistance allies, that's just going to feed the Sith Marauder, which is great news for you against the current meta. As you can see in this gameplay, Darth Vader is going to have incredible synergy with the Marauder just because of his Zated Leader ability. The ability to keep those negative status effects rolling on the enemy team is going to feed all of those positive effects from the Force Shall Free Me for the Marauder. So, you put the Marauder on a team that is constantly throwing out debuffs or th constantly throwing out buffs, you're only going to increase the power of your Sith Marauder. Now, why do I interrupt our gameplay with a little bit of uh, cutscene action from uh, one of my favorite cutscenes here, where Darth Malgus leads the Sith on an attack of a uh, Jedi Temple? Now, the reason I show this little bit of footage to you is that my this is my this is where this is where Mist is getting skeptical here, right? This is where I'm speculating, all right? Now, we have the Sith Assassin as the daily login character of the month. We already have the Sith Marauder gracing our presence. A Sith from the Great Sith War. My guess since they've already told us they aren't giving us Revan. No Revan. That's that's fine. That's fine. I'll wait till next February. That's cool. That's, I can wait a year. I can wait a year. I'll, I'll keep playing this again for another year. That's fine. That's fine. Revan can be next year. I think we are getting Darth Malgus at the end of this month, and I am super freaking excited about it. 
Sith is by far my favorite faction. I've I've always been more uh, enthralled with the Sith Order, you know, the Sith side of things, and I don't know, I I don't know if it's I'm not necessarily a bad guy. I I I like to think I'm a I'm a pretty good guy, pretty nice guy in 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 reality, but. You know, we all have that little, that dark side of us, you know, when you played Knights of the Old Republic and you you just couldn't stay light side, you just couldn't make the, the right side, the light side choices. Yeah, that was me. I, I, I walked around at the end of the game, force lightning everybody, and just kind of walking through a room and not really caring how many enemies there were because force lightning, you know, you just kill everybody. Um... <laughs> yeah, so Darth Malgus is my guess for who we're getting at the end of this month or near the end of the month. I think I think Darth Malgus is going to be the icing on the cake for February. Now, going back to the Sith Marauder, obviously we're seeing this gameplay with the same squad, Darth Vader lead, Emperor Palpatine, who's usually the first one to die, uh, which this is beta gameplay, obviously, so take all these numbers as you know with a grain of salt. We're also seeing Gear 12, uh, uh, Sith Marauder, Gear 12, uh, Ally, you know, this whole squad that is being used is uh, Sith, uh, Gear 12 against largely Gear... 11 some gear 10 like that han solo that got smoked at the beginning of the video was a gear 10 but you just saw gear 12 uh <laughs> commander luke skywalker just get pummeled with another 27,000 crit now my expectations obviously we can probably expect this character is going to roll out in a marquee pack because that's kind of how they've been introducing characters of, shall I say, insignificant or non-monumental note. Which, let's face it, the Sith Marauder is a generic Sith attacker. He's not Darth Malgus, or Darth Revan, or Darth Malak, or uh, Darth Bane, or Plagueis, or any of those, of, ever, any of the above. Dar the, the Marauder is a generic, nameless character, right? He's just a generic unit. So I would expect that the Sith Marauder is introduced to us via marquee event. He'll probably end out at two stars, three, <coughs> excuse me, three stars if we're lucky. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I'll probably be weak and I'll probably buy the $10 pack that still won't get me to four stars. But I have a soft spot for Sith. Now I'm not going to shell out the cash and get him to seven stars because I'm not made of money. But, <laughs> yeah, if, if, if I was made of money, if I had a liquid credit card just sitting in my pocket that didn't have any connection to my financial history whatsoever, <laughs> yeah, I would be buying this guy tomorrow if he hit the game. So um, the Sith Marauder looks incredible as far as just a DPS utility for any Sith squad. Basically, what I'm envisioning is like a Darth Vader lead, Sith Marauder, Sith Trooper, maybe Darth Nihilus, and I don't know, maybe throw Palpatine in there, or maybe throw all of the above under a Palpatine lead, and you have an incredible Sith squad that can be doing buku damage. Oh, and by the way, because they're Sith under Palpatine, they're getting a lot of health back every time they inflict a negative status effect. Anyway guys, I'm stoked, I hope you're stoked. This video was fun as heck to make, I'm still sick. I hope I get better soon because I got more videos to make. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you later.